Hello everyone. Welcome back to Cranes Creek Acres. As you can tell with our theme, with our videos lately, it's been all about chickens. Behind me, we have a chicken tractor. It's just something I just built, getting ready to get it set up to go in our back three acre pasture, start preparing that land. But uh, this video is gonna show me building that, talking a little bit about why we're gonna build it. And then I'll show you a little bit of detail of uh, how I built it in case you want to build one. They're a great tool to use your animals, if, especially if you've already got chickens, to make your land more fertile. So I invite you to come along and watch this video with us. Right here I'm standing in a uh, three acre field that we have behind our house. And as you see all the way back there in the background, those trees, that's what this looked like when we first bought this property. And one of the dreams that I have is to be able to produce food, to grow a lot of what we need to eat right here in this pasture. And so I've tried a couple things. I've tried peach trees and I put those in before we ever moved out here and the vast majority of those are dead. We've planted some strawberries and they're not doing so well and so I want to show you some of the challenges that we're facing with our ground and then we'll talk about what we're going to do to fix that. As you look here on the dirt you'll see a lot of sand and the ground just isn't really that fertile but the other challenge is that it doesn't hold water because of so much sand. So I want to be able to come out here and take this property and make this property where it's really fertile and will grow food. I've been watching YouTube videos on how to turn your land into fertile soil. One of the things that I liked most was people who took their animals and brought them out here. That by letting them come through and eat the plant life that is growing and disturbing the soil some and leaving their manure seems to be a pretty good system for getting the soil to be more fertile. So I've considered goats and pigs and cows but right now we have chickens and so I think that we're just gonna stick with chickens. One of the things that I'd like to do is bring some chicken tractors out here and use the chickens to be able to make this land more fertile and then to be able to get the eggs and possibly even raise some meat birds. So we're going to go back over to the chicken tractor and look at how it's built. It's a John Siskovich style of chicken tractor. I say that because it's not an exact replica of what he's built, but it's kind of a similar style. So if you are interested in building a chicken tractor, I'm going to show you the details of what I did in case you want to build one for yourself. Behind me, you will see a John Shaskovich style of chicken tractor. If you don't know who he is, you can find him on YouTube. He has created a book on building a chicken tractor that looks like this. I didn't like the size of his. He wants to be able to put his on a trailer, and so they're fairly small. Mine is eight feet wide, 12 feet long. It'll hold quite a few meat birds, like around 45 or so. Um, right now I have some pullets in there that are for eggs, but I needed to get them out of the chicken brooder. They're too big to be in a brooder. And so I've brought them out here and put them in my chicken tractor. And so we are currently in the backyard and I am just pulling them around the backyard every day, giving them new grass and new place to eat bugs and to leave their manure. So I'm going to take you along and show you how I built mine. I have not followed the plans like uh, John Siskovich and many others have laid out on YouTube. Mine's a little bit different, but uh, not significantly. I used some treated 2x4s a couple of one by fours and then some electrical conduit that's half inch then i wrapped it in chicken wire and i think it's half inch welded wire i threw a tarp over the top of it 
and a lot of times I saw where people brought their tarps all the way down the sides I didn't do that the main reason I didn't do it is because I already had this tarp on hand and was not using it and I thought it would be sufficient as is our chickens have plenty of shelter and so they have shade and they have shelter from the rain so as you look around here I took my conduit and it goes all the way down to the bottom I just used some clamps here to brace it or to, to screw it to this piece and then to this piece and that's what supports these two top and bottom then I put a bend on it right here come up here to the top and I cut it off I used a I don't even know what kind of a bracket it is a little 90 degree right there that each one goes into put a bracket on top and put my top piece of conduit from the front to the back this was all 10 foot pieces of half inch conduit that I used my 2x4s for my sides are 12 feet I left one long I don't know that I needed to do this but uh, I did it that way because that's what I had seen um, where my bottom piece is 12 feet my top piece is 11 and a half feet then on the front I have an 8 foot 2 by 4 across here and I just created some half lap joints where I cut out half of the material of each board put it in there and screwed them together seems to be pretty strong I put in a metal bracket right here in the corners to help strengthen that up a little bit currently I'm just using a ratchet strap it's worked out I can adjust it to make it the right height and it's easy to grab and pull I just had that handy and so that's what I've used my door is a 1x4 I didn't do any joints I just put them up there together and put this support piece on there the mesh this welded wire mesh is really probably what helps hold all this together my locking mechanism is simply this one by four with a screw put in it uh, then I just have some one inch chicken wire that I've wrapped the whole thing with my joints between this one or excuse me my joints my space between this uh, piece of conduit and the next one is just under three feet so a 36 inch wire works perfect for wrapping this and covering it up uh, I've seen where some did not put wire underneath the tarp I put wire completely underneath the tarp so that it is uh, protected from predators and then I got my end down here you can see I like this style better than the fella Joel Salatin in Virginia his chicken tractors are also I think they're 8 by 12s they might be 10 by 12s but they're two foot high and they have the roof right here at the top and I like this style right here where the heat can get up and uh, flow out and so the chickens have it a little bit nicer in there I plan on keeping these chickens in here all the time the plan right now is I'm gonna take them through the winter in this chicken tractor and I'll just be taking them and moving them around the property every day so if I feel like they need more protection I can go ahead and get a tarp that will cover the sides and come down a little bit better or even cover some of the back currently I do not have a um, nesting box in here but I plan on right here in the back setting up a nesting box where I can reach the eggs from the outside and so I just took a chicken feeder and put it on string that way it's underneath the tarp so that when it rains the feed doesn't get wet I don't have my waterer set up yet to be attached to the chicken tractor I'm going to get that done I've got a five gallon pail that I have used that already has uh, water nipples in it and so I'm going to bring that in here and either put it in the corner 
on top of a 2x4 or I'll hang it up somehow. But uh, that's my automatic feeding and water system. Protects the chickens from the sun, the rain, and I think this is going to work pretty well. So it's pretty simple to build. I just have two joints here that have half laps. Half laps. Then on the corners, I did not half lap them. I just put a 2x4 in there on both sides. And the reason I did that was so that I had plenty to screw to over here. So that I'm in the joint that goes back, or excuse me, the 2x4 that goes um, uh, on the back. And then it also goes into this 2x4 that goes vertical. And so we're going to see how well this works. From everything I have read online, it seems like a pretty good chicken tractor. We might even build a couple of these that we can take on our back property and uh, help our chickens, or, or use our chickens rather, to improve our land. So that's it for our chicken tractor. And I hope you like this video. If you're interested in building one, they're pretty simple to build. I didn't go buy the book. I just kind of drew it out on a piece of paper and cut my 2x4s and put them together. I didn't have any problems. It's really simple. Same with building the conduit. I did go buy a conduit bender uh, just so that my joints are, they don't um, crease is the word I'm thinking. I don't know if that's right. They didn't, they bent evenly. And, um, but I imagine you could bend it without buying one of those. But uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing how our chickens prepare our land, make it more fertile. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a blessed day. We'll see you on the next one.